Hi, I'm Alice. Uh, I study English history and politics and I did an EPQ on how a sense of belonging can be established in refugee communities through the use of theatre. I think for me, I knew for my subjects specifically that the departments are really strong for each of my subjects and I think within each of the departments I knew I'd had quite a few of the teachers and they're all really kind of passionate but also just like caring like when you I think it's quite important for me anyway to have a dynamic with the teacher where you feel quite comfortable I really love history it just it just makes looking at present politics so much more interesting and I think generally looking at like power because I'm quite interested in politics understanding power understanding who has it who doesn't all of those things I think are really fascinating but especially because of our focus it just feels very necessary I guess would be the right word I love politics because the A level specifically I think I feel a lot more engaged than I think I otherwise would have been in national politics within this country but I think otherwise like kind of globally too but specifically this country because I actually understand like the political institutions that run the country and I kind of understand what principles govern our country which means that I can just actually argue with people better which I quite enjoy <laughs> so for me I, I think most people who love English would say that it's rooted in them being a bookworm and I think I'm very much the same um, I think in a slightly more like just thinking about the academics of it I really love with with English A level specifically the fact that you get to look so in depth at the use of language and I think if you enjoy language or kind of enjoy trying to understand why the use of language is important for anyone who just under like interested in people I think that's true of most humanities but if you're just interested in people and how people tick and it you kind of look at that through the novel and the characters in the novel but also the authors and I think that's just like for anyone yeah who's a bit of a people person I think because classes are smaller but also because all of you are much more invested in the subject there's much more of a kind of mutual balance in the discussions that you have which I think because all of the sort of history politics and English are so reliant on you being able to debate with each other that that kind of the trust in teachers that what you are going to say is kind of valid that you you kind of have opinions that should be listened to I think that that's what kind of makes the, the classroom environment feels quite different. I think the EPQ is such like a special experience. Like I think at the time it, it, is, it is hard, it's definitely hard. And like, I think you definitely want to be interested in what you pick <laughs> to do it. But I just, I found the fact that I could pick whatever I wanted to do. And just, it was quite, what I ended up doing was quite a niche thing because I was looking at, it was sort of drama studies. I thought I was doing something that was to do with drama, but it ended up being psychology, which I didn't think I was interested in. And then also kind of political because I was looking at refugees and immigration and, and then like language and how politics of language affects things. So you kind of carve a niche for yourself and just get to write about it, which is really cool. But I also think as well, I'm just, I got quite good at failing, which is like really useful because I think I'm quite a perfectionist generally. And yeah, I, there were a lot of times when I just had to like, completely do a u-turn with what I wanted to do or you try and do something like try and get you know an interview or something like that and it just doesn't happen and like you kind of just have to be confident in yourself in like what you're that what you're doing is like correct and valid and that you're gonna like get there eventually which I think that sort of perseverance was like not fun at the time but when I look back on it I'm like that was actually really good for me because I think learning how to fit is just really good so yeah in terms of university I'm not really scared at the idea of having to kind of go and write something for somebody who's actually a specialist in their subject because I, I know at least like vaguely how I can approach that um, when in terms of like academic writing at a sort of slightly higher level so.